<sighs> you know, it's one of those days, guys, where you need a black and white filter. You need the rest of the video to be black and white. It's so sad. You, I don't, I don't feel sad enough. It's not quite as sad. Add some raindrops. Is it okay? Nah, it's still not sad enough. I still feel quite like happy. Add some sad music. Yeah, nah, this this still feels way. I'm still okay. I'm still way too okay. All right, snap out of it, everyone. It turns out it's actually not the worst day in the world. It's It could be worse. What's crack like it, everyone? And welcome back to what is another Unless Leaf video. And guys, the only reason I was getting sad and all in my feels this morning was because a uh, Pokemon, they, they tweeted something out. They're like, guys, we just dropped a brand new Detective Pikachu trailer, but that's going to be the last one we're ever going to drop for the movie. No more footage, no more trailers until the movie comes out in exactly one month. So, I was all in my feels, I'm like, oh dude, that's the last bit of footage we're ever gonna see for the movie until it comes out in like 30, 31 days. Alrighty fellas, so for the very last time, we're gonna have a look at every single Pokemon that they featured in the brand new trailer. Now, if you haven't seen it, go check it out. I'm not gonna play the full thing in this video because I want you guys to go see it for yourself, so I'm gonna link it first link in the description below. Give it a watch, then come back to this trailer and I'll slowly go over each Pokemon that they had in the trailer because in this trailer, it's only a minute long and they zoom past like 50,000 different Pokemon. You're like, what did I just see? This video is going to slow it down and I'll explain every Pokemon that was in the trailer. Let's do it. So we pretty much start things off as the most controversial Pokemon and I think the uh, people making this trailer knew that this was the most controversial so they put him at the front. We've got a fluffy Jigglypuff. People on Twitter are still freaking out. They're like, oh my gosh, he looks even more fluffy in this trailer. I'm not too fast, I wouldn't be alarmed, it's gonna be fantastic. This is followed up by a Pancharm, which looks really cute and adorable. Can't say that about his evolved form, which we'll see in a second. Followed up by an Apom. This looks so cute, and I was thinking Apom's gonna look great. In this movie, Apom looks like an evil thing. I don't know, I don't know how to describe it. Its tail is like electric, and it shocks you with its hand on the tail. Then we've got a bit of a two for one deal. We've got Dodrio and Venusaur both coming out at the same time, and holy mama, Venusaur is looking quite realistic. Not quite as realistic as a Torterra, which we actually see in the trailer too, but Venusaur's looking pretty good. Now after this, they do feature Eevee. Eevee seems to play a really, really big part because they keep, in this trailer, they keep reinforming us, Eevee has so many evolutions. I think they're trying to tell the people that don't follow Pokemon as much, but they're like, Eevee's got a bunch of evolutions, remember that for the movie. So I presume Eevee evolving's gonna save the day somehow. But yeah, there's Eevee in the trailer too. Then this is followed up by a Charizard who seems to be really clumsy. He like knocks everything down, he's walking around. Charizard, I've already said this, looks great. Really scaly reptile lizard dragon thingy. Exactly what I imagined for Charizard, to be honest. Then obviously we've got Pikachu, we've got Psyduck. They really enforce the headache in this trailer. They're like, Psyduck has always got a headache. Doesn't matter how many like, you know, headache tablets he takes. He's always in agony. Then we've got the classic Snubble. We've also got a Squirtle looking quite cute. And I saw my boy Shofu tweeted out on Twitter that it looks like Franklin from back in the day. <laughs> and I kind of agree with that. I remember the TV show. So yeah, it kind of looks like Franklin, but at the same time, it looks like Squirtle. Then this is followed up by a really, really ticked off looking Pangoro. But then again, Pangoro always looks a bit ticked off. Then Ludicolo. Oh, my favorite barista ever. I just want a coffee made by him. What does it taste like? Good or bad? Is he a good waiter? No one knows. These are the questions I want answered. Then we've just got a Molga looking so adorable. Are you looking at those eyes? So cute. But while we're speaking of cute like first evolutions, we got the Charmander. Then we've got the Loudred looking pretty good. This time it's not with Diplo. Um, then we got Purloin, which is a very, very interesting one. I don't know if we've even seen that before. So fluffy. Then a Rowlet, which looks quite nice. Sneasel was a massive surprise to me. When I saw that, I'm like, oh my, and it's fluffy? I've never thought about this. Have you guys? I get. I guess it's meant to be fluffy. Just really, really taken off guard, but I love it. I love when they do this. It's really making me think about Pokemon I've never really thought too much about before. But yeah, Sneasel. And I guess another Pokemon we didn't really think much about was Torterra. Um, and everyone lost their mind. This is Twitter's favorite. This is everyone in the comment section's favorite. So Terra is meant to be that massive Pokemon carrying like a massive forest on his back. So no real surprises there, but oh, it looks really good. Like absolute A+. Then to close it out, two Pokemon I didn't really expect. Trico and Krabby. Krabby's in the trailer. That's the best way to finish any sort of trailer. Just throw a Krabby in there, boys. But yeah, that was the Detective Pikachu casting call trailer. I think they're really showing off because the person that made the movie said there was about 60 Pokemon. I think we're definitely coming close to have seen every single one throughout the trailer. So this is the perfect way to close it out. If you had any sort of doubts, they're like, all right, here's the 
Missing links. Here's the, all the other Pokemon that are going to be in it. I reckon choices are fantastic. And if your favorite Pokemon like Mine Thunderous isn't in this trailer, isn't in the movie, if you go support this movie, they'll probably do a sequel and just add double the amount of Pokemon. So it's like more reason to go see it and make it a success. Now guys, I know you left after that trailer thing and oh my god, I cannot be any more hyped for this movie. I've got to go get my tickets. Well guys, here's more of a reason to go see the movie in theatre and not wait for the DVD or Blu-ray. When you go to the movies, when you go buy a ticket, right? Classic Pokemon style and I'm so happy they're bringing this back. You will get one limited edition booster pack with one card inside for every movie ticket that you buy. So you have to go see this in the cinema to get your special Detective Pikachu promo card which is on screen right now. This is the bad boy you're going to get. So uh, I know I'm definitely going to go multiple times to cinema to go see this movie just to collect the Pokemon cards because it's that classic like this is the first ever real life Pokemon movie which could be one of many but this is the first one you got to go get your free little promo card. Um, you don't want to buy it on eBay after, you might as well go see the movie in cinema. It's going to be so cool. And I was really stoked when I saw that on Twitter. I'm like, they're doing it. They are announced it. We're getting like free Pokemon cards when we go to the movies. And yes, granted, they have done this in the past for other cartoon movie releases. And I've done vlogs on that. I've gone to the cinema and got the Pokemon card. But there's something about this movie and how big and internationally known it will be. That you probably, you should probably go to the cinema and claim this card. Because it's going to be wanted. Um, maybe even on the scale of the ancient Mew card from back in the day, it's like our generation's version, which is really cool. But then, speaking of getting Pokemon cards for free when you do stuff, I have the craziest bit of information that I just had to tell you. I didn't know where to put this in a video, I didn't know how to like tell you guys, because I thought if I do it on Twitter, no one will really see it. So I'm going to put it at the end of this video today. There is a brand new Pokemon card that I think is going to take the title for the most expensive Pokemon card in the world. Sit down, sit down, I know this is crazy news, it's absolutely mind blowing. But, if you somehow got an invitation to attend Ishihara's 60th birthday, this is the guy that's the CEO of Pokemon, the boss of Pokemon, right? If you went to his 60th birthday, you know, you go to a birthday party and I get really excited about the goodie bag at the end, I'm always like, oh! Free candy, free weird stuff. I love the goodie bags. Inside of Ishihara's 60th birthday goodie bag was a GX Pokemon card of himself. So not only was there a GX Pokemon card full art of himself that is official, 100% real, this thing actually, like, there's no fakes. This is literally real and there's only like 10 to 15 in the whole planet. He had a little contract in there that said the only way you're allowed to sell this card is to be fired or leave the Nintendo company altogether. You can't sell this while working at Nintendo. So you're thinking, dude, I'm never gonna see one of those for sale. Recently, and by recently, I think I mean like five days ago, a PSA graded number nine Ishihara GX Full Art has gone up on eBay. And as I'm filming this video, it's currently worth 6,000 US dollars, AKA eight and a half thousand Australian dollars. Bruh. I've got to compose myself. I get so excited talking about this story. But uh, yeah, at, at the time of the recording, it's currently worth $8,500 in Australian. Uh, it's got two days to go, so I'm uploading this video tomorrow. So if I'll link the eBay in the description below. But if you want to go check it out, it's probably worth even more and it's probably got 24 hours to go on the bid. But it's all official. It's r honestly probably one of the rarest cards you could probably buy. So if you've ever, can, if you've got ten thousand dollars just sitting by you, like, what am I gonna do with this ten thousand dollars? I'm a huge Pokemon fan. I've already got a hundred base set booster boxes. I mean, if you want, that's it's probably not gonna ever go down in value. It's just gonna go up. So you, you should probably buy it. I, I would too, but I've got a lot of bills to pay, and you you know. So yeah, I'm having an absolutely fantastic day today, guys. All the Pokemon news came out this morning, and I thought, you know what? I haven't done a news video in ages. I've got to update you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed these types of things, but it was kind of sad. The last ever Detective Pikachu trailer. On the plus, though, we're getting a Detective Pikachu Pokemon booster and card when you buy a movie ticket to Detective Pikachu, which is so sick. Um, you Definitely check your cinema before you go, because it's not guaranteed every cinema would have that. Um, and then last but not least, the Ishihara GX. 
Oh man, it makes me just want to win the lottery or something so I can buy all the crazy Pokemon stuff that is completely out of my price range, but would still love to have. Definitely become the Gob Sex Blue. What do you think of all these things? Hopefully I'm a fantastic day, guys. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, definitely demolish the like button. And uh, maybe there might be some more Detective Pikachu content coming on the channel. Just maybe.